Hey guys, welcome back to another 3D video in Blender. So to continue our space exploration series, we're going to be modeling up utility laser gun that your character can use to either mine resources or defend themselves on harsh and hostile planets. As always, if you're super new to Blender or to the channel, then go ahead and check out my last series that I did on making models for a fantasy RPG game. So if you would like to follow along, then go ahead and open up a new Blender session and we'll get started. So let's jump right in and start making the main body of the laser gun. This is going to be to kind of fit around your arm a little bit like an arm cannon like you'll see from Samus or Mega Man or other types of games like that. So first let's just delete the default cube and we're going to import a cylinder. So let's go to add mesh and cylinder and we want this to be about 12 vertices. That gives us a little bit of low poly and makes it look pretty cool. I don't want to get it too detailed. Let's rotate this 90 degrees, and that's going to be along the y-axis. Type in 90. Let's go ahead and jump right into edit mode. So let's grab this face back here. We're going to stretch it out a little bit. Okay. And we're going to delete this back face here, so it'll be a spot to stick your arm in. So we'll delete this face. And now we're going to use a solidify modifier to turn this into a shell. So let's go to add modifier, solidify, and let's see, 0.1, how does that look? Can make it a little bit thicker than that. How about 0.15? Okay, that's pretty good. We're going to hit apply. Okay, make sure that you're in object mode to hit apply. There we go. And the next thing that we're going to do is just so you, it gives it kind of a cool look, we're going to cut out a section on each side right about here. And we're going to do that really simply by adding a cube and using the Boolean modifier to uh, delete whatever is within that cube. So let's go ahead and add the cube. Let's shrink that down. Okay. Let's scale that in the Y direction. There we go. And now to delete whatever's inside this cube, we're gonna add a modifier to the cylinder by going to Add Modifier Boolean. We're gonna choose the cube as the object that we wanna cut away, and we wanna make sure that we're selecting the difference. So when you hit Apply and delete the cube, you'll see that a section is cut out. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now what we can do is go ahead and mess with the vertices that we have and give it a little bit of a different look other than these like straight edges. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that's looking pretty cool so far. So the next thing that we're gonna do is install the handle or the trigger. So we're gonna do that by just adding cylinders and just kind of moving them around, extruding some faces from it and kind of forming what kind of looks like maybe sort of like a shovel handle is kind of what I'm going for. So we'll see how that turns out. And actually, while we have only a few objects here, let's just make sure that this is all centered just so when we're adding objects and we need them to align properly, It'll make it really easy for us to do that. So with that centered, we can do the same thing for this. Make sure that all the coordinates are zero, and then we can move from there. So we're gonna move this right to the front here. Okay, let's go ahead into edit mode. We're gonna shrink this down just a little bit more. Okay, let's grab this face and pull it out so we can see it. All right. And now let's start extruding some of these faces out and kind of make that shovel shape that I was talking about. So you can hit E on the keyboard to extrude. And then I'm just going to use the origin arrows and even rotate the face a little bit just to give that that shape. All right, this isn't looking too bad. So the next thing that we're gonna do is put some kind of radar dish shaped thing on the front of the gun. This can be used to suck in materials that you're mining, or it can be used to gather energy to then shoot out the front and hit enemies or something like that. So let's go ahead, bring in another cylinder. Let's go into object mode, add mesh and cylinder. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty good if it overlaps it a little bit like that. Okay, let's go ahead into edit mode and grab this front face right here. Maybe pull it back just a little bit and we're gonna scale it out to give it that dish shape. All right. Now what we wanna do is do the same thing that we did to this cylinder. We're gonna delete this face 
and we're going to go ahead and make it a shell by adding a solidify modifier. We're going to make this, let's see, 1.15, well, how's that? Okay, that's pretty good. Let's scale this, uh, this back a little bit just so it's not coming into our radar dish. All right, so now what I kind of want to do is make a smaller radar dish in the center, which is going to be kind of like the area where the laser will come out or that the minerals and, and mineable resources will go in. And we're just going to take this main uh, dish in the front here, and we're just going to scale that down. We're going to hold Shift D to duplicate without moving it, just click into place, and then we're just going to hit S to scale it down. Okay, we'll move that back so it's more towards the... Uh, inside of the dish there. Okay, cool. So now I kind of want to make holes on the outside of the dish just so it's not completely solid. Plus we're going to be putting some objects in here that might end up moving. So we kind of want to see them moving when the uh, whole gun is to the side. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do that by adding some cubes. So we're going to add a cube here. We're going to put that in the middle. We're going to move it into the dish. We're going to scale it down. We're going to scale it in the Z direction. Okay. Let's move it about back here. Let's make it a little bit thinner. All right. And maybe we'll scale it in the X direction as well. Some nice big holes. There we go. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is simply do the same thing that I did with the dish. I'm going to copy it. Shift D to duplicate. With it still selected, I'm gonna rotate it about the X axis by 60 degrees. Okay, and I'm gonna do that same thing with this one so that we have three main cubes here to use as our cutting tools. And now what I'm gonna do is join these all together just so that they're one item that we could use as our cutting, uh, cutting object. So let's just select them all. We're gonna click join. Now they're one object. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to add modifier. We're gonna use the Boolean modifier and then hit apply. Okay, and now we can select the cubes and delete them. And there we have some holes in our dish there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is add some kind of teeth claw type things that will spin on the inside of the dish. That's just to kind of make it look like it's mining equipment and maybe that it's crushing and condensing the material as it's going into the gun. So this is gonna be really simple. I'm just gonna add a cube so let's go to add mesh and cube. Okay, we'll put about right there. Let's just scale it up a tiny bit. There we go. And I'm actually gonna rotate it around the X axis about 45 degrees. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and edit mode. And now what we're gonna do is just kind of manipulate it to give it that claw look that I was talking about. All right, now before it gets a little bit too high poly, I'm gonna stop right there. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is copy this and rotate it around the center of the gun so that we have three main teeth or claws. So we're gonna go ahead and object mode. And what I wanna do is make the origin of this the center of the gun. That way that when I rotate it, it rotates it into the right place and at about the right axis. So I'm going to select uh, this radar dish here. I'm gonna hold down shift and hit S on the keyboard and I'm gonna say cursor to uh, active, and that's gonna make the cursor along the same axis as the center of the radar dish here. And so now when I click on the claw, this cursor is still in the center here, and I can just say set origin to 3D cursor. So that sets the, the origin of the claw to the cursor right here. And so now all I have to do is hold shift, click D, drop it into place, with it still selected, I'm gonna hit R. I'm gonna rotate around the X axis and I'm going to rotate it 120 degrees. There we go, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. All right, awesome, now we have three claws and I'm just gonna go ahead and select them all and join them together. 
All right, now finally, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more detail by giving it a plate on the top to be maybe like a pump action or just a surface for maybe a display or something, and then maybe give the handle a little bit of uh, cool design too. All right, I think that's looking pretty good, so let's go ahead and give it some color. All right, I think we're gonna call that finished, so now you have a tool and a weapon to add to your space exploration game. Just like the ship, you can design cool upgrades and add-ons that will power it up and allow it to do even cooler things. So definitely try this one out and make sure that you tweet me a picture of your final design. I would definitely love to see your cool laser gun designs and share them with other viewers. If there's something that you want to see created in a video, make sure that you let me know down in the comments. And hey, if this video helped you out in any way, make sure that you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Alright, keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.